Neymar also spoke about his emotions after Brazil lost against Croatia in the World Cup. Remember, it went down to the penalty shootout. This is what he had to say uh, about his feelings afterwards. I can't tell you what went through my head. It was the most painful defeat of my career, for sure. I cried for five straight days. It hurt me a lot that my dream had turned to nothing. Interesting, Shaka. Also, throughout this interview, he said he thought about quitting. Uh, Brazil just walking away from everything, away from the pressure. I suppose if you were to turn this into a positive, you would use that as motivation going into 2026, wouldn't you, if you're Neymar? Well, that, that, that's what you'd hope. Um, listen, I, I, I don't think there's any secret. Neymar is an incredibly talented footballer, one of the most gifted in, in, in the game today, certainly. But I think he lacks certain qualities that makes him a champion. And, 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 and you see that. To, as much as... In his, his previous statements about PSG, I, I thought that's as mature a thing as I've heard, as I've heard Neymar say. Um, you only have to look back to how, how they lost to, to Real Madrid a couple of seasons ago. When, when you've got Luka Modric, who was, what, 36 at the time, running away from you in midfield. For all the talent that PSG had at their disposal, for all the talent that Neymar can boast of, I, I just think some of, some of the hard work, doing some of the dirty side of, of the game... Um, he, he, he lets himself down, and as a result, he lets his team down. Now you can build around that, um, but ultimately, if you are to win the biggest prizes in the game, I think everybody has to be prepared to do a whole lot of that. Um, I, I understand the frustrations around the World Cup. I, I think back to 2016 when, when Brazil won, won the Olympics and in, in Rio and the, the big um, everything where everybody was so trying for the ball, or speaking about was the fact that Brazil had never won it and uh, never won the Olympics and Pelé had never won the Olympics and, and all the expectation that as a result was put on Neymar's shoulders. Now, it's, it's not gotten any better from, from a Brazil's perspective mm. for Neymar in that regard. And maybe he, he felt, and especially going, in, going into 2022, Brazil had easily the most stacked squad yeah. going into that tournament. We could make all kinds of arguments about the best 11, but in terms of a squad... Well, you backed them to win after you changed your mind about Argentina. No, 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 that was... First game. No, that was... I, 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 I don't remember that at all, Dan. I don't remember <laughs> yeah, that at all. Remember. No, I, I, I don't remember. Stop, stop, stop distracting me. Stop trying to distract me, Dan. I'm on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, and and, and, and they, they let themselves down. And, and again, you're talking about... If we're talking about the best team in the, in, in, in the tournament, if we're talking about one of the best players in the world, and as much as Croatia were um, beaten finalists four years earlier, you shouldn't be getting knocked out against Croatia. Did you he, really should. Did he just go to the wrong club? Do you I think, think if he left Barcelona and went to the, uh, Pep Guardiola's Manchester City? He went for the he, wrong reasons. Right. right. He went because I, he, he went wanted for the, to get out of the shadows. Exactly. I... I, I that, I cannot understand that, that thinking. Right. Where you leave a club like Barcelona, where you are the heir apparent to Lionel Messi, you leave there because your focus is on winning the Ballon d'Or. So uh, at that point, regardless of where he went, I think the right thing was on the wall. You deserve what you get when you Whoa. have a pattern. And clearly the pattern is, I'm more important than the team winning games. And Robbo, Shaka, the points are clear, is that in the end, your job is to help your team win games, and through that team success, the individual success will come, not the other way around. Right. Because you still need to do what the team needs at that time. And it's a, it's a, it's a tough sport. You're supposed to run. You're supposed to work hard. You're going to get kicked. You're going to tag. But if you then decide, I'm going to do this, and nobody trusts what's going to happen in the bigger picture. When you look at good managers, they are in control of a situation. They're given that by the ownership, and they are more important than the player. I think what we saw at PSG was a group of players, although a couple of them would, well, okay, I guess I'll do it, and one of them that wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And it's impossible. You have one choice. Either as a manager you get rid of that player or the player gets rid of you. Right. And, and we've seen what has happened. And we've seen what's happened. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.